What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back again with another video and this time I am unboxing my new vinyl which is Sierra's debut album goodies from Urban Outfitters so let's go right ahead and get into it. I decided because I was actually going to wait. I was like no let me get it before it sell out because you know it's like you you put the vinyl in the cart or you put it in the waiting list and you're just like okay I'm going to get it I'm going to get that next week when I get paid and then when you go to get it it's not there. So I was like you know what forget it I'm just going to buy it you know what I'm saying just bite the bullet <laughs> and buy it before it sell out. But this is Sierra, Sierra's Goodies album, um, which came out in 2004. Yeah, 2004. And I love this album. So we're going to open it and I'm going to tell y'all the story. So about when I first heard and brought this particular album. So I can't wait, so let's open it up. It's actually the pink disc um, from Urban Outfit. It's like the special or a limited edition I think. So take that out. Throw that box over there. Throw that out the way. A little ASMR. <laughs> Alright, so this is it here, and we're about to open it up. I, I love Sierra, I do. She was part of my childhood, like growing up. I think I was eight years old when Goodies came out, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to do the math in my head. But I think, yeah, I think I was eight years old. See it already. So, ah, this is it. Oh, oh my God! I, that's one thing that I do love about. Um, that's one thing that I do love about Urban Outfitters is they pop stickers are like the coolest. Them and um, Fye. So, Urban Outfitters Limited. Um, Sierra's chart topping debut goodies, 2LP pressed on hot pink vinyl. Uh, Sierra goodies certified, includes digital download and made in France. I'm keeping all of these. Let's go. Cool. So, executive producer Jazzy Faye, Anthony TA, whoever, all of those good people. Um, so yeah, this is the back of it. And this is the front. Don't mind my nails, I gotta cut them, okay? But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna tell a little quick story about this album. When I was younger, I think I was eight years old. Yeah, I was eight. Um, me, my mother, and my stepfather went to Best Buy, and we was going to get something. I don't remember what we was going to get. And at the time, you know, like now Best Buy is like just technical stuff and you know, whatever. But back then it was like everything. So we will always go to Best Buy for certain stuff. And we went and Sierra album had just came out and everybody was in the stores buying it. So I went over to the shelf because I, you know, I've always been a music head. Every time we were going to a store like Walmart, Target, or whatever, I would always go to the album section. And I would leave my mom, like I would walk away from her just to go look at the albums and look at them and read them and stuff like that. So I ran and then I ran, I ran to go look at the album and I ran back to my mom. I was like, mom, can I please? Cause you know, I had my mom, right? She was like, before we get into the store, you better not touch nothing, you better not pick nothing up. If we ain't buying nothing, we come to get what we get in and we leaving. Okay, so I begged her, I said, Mom, can I please get Sierra album? Like, I really want it. Like, I, I want it really, really bad. So, she was. She told my dad, take him over there to go get it. And we went, I picked it up. I already knew where it was at, so I ran and left him. I beat him over there before he got a chance to walk with me. So, I grabbed it and we got it. We played it in the car. Um, I was just reading 
the booklet, like looking at the thank you notes and just reading the track list and just all into it. And I got home and I constantly played that album back to back to back. And I had just got a, a radio that had the, um, with this radio I had like the CD player and it had the cassette tape. So I played it on my new radio player. I played it on my um, CD player, which is a little round thing. You plug the headphones in and you can walk around with it. I had that, I had like two of those. And I played this CD so much to the point that it got scratched and it skips and all type of stuff. But I'm so happy I own it on vinyl now. Like this just makes me happy. Cause I really do, really, really, really do love this album. So I'm about to open it. But yeah, that was a quick little story. Like I remember my mom telling me like, I couldn't pick nothing up. You know, she was like, we get in this store. You can't get nothing, you ain't buying nothing. We come to get what we get and we leaving. But I ended up leaving with goodies. <laughs> and my favorite song was Thug Style. I always played Thug Style. I don't know why I loved it. I just did. So, oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> this is so pretty. So it's like pink. It is pink, but it looked like a little bit of purple in it too. I don't know, it's like a marble smeared type look, but it looked like purple is in it as well. I don't know, it just could be my eyes. But let me see, I can hold it up closer. Yeah, like it's super bright. Like very, very bright. I'm glad I got, I'm glad I got it. So now if it sell out, I ain't got to worry about it because I already have it. <laughs> so that's that. And then, we got this. This is the other disc side, D, uh, C and D. And the first one was A and B. So, yes. This, but it don't have, okay, it has no insert, but it does have um, a code in there. Okay, so this one only has um, the uh, track listing. It don't have the thank you notes or nothing like that. But I'm gonna look for the actual CD cover, I think I still have it, and compare it, so I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so after all that digging I just did looking for this album, I couldn't even find the booklet. I don't know what happened to it, but this is it here. This is the back of it. The back is still there and I still have the disc, but I'm gonna show y'all how scratched it is. Look, I played the CD so much. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I scratched it up. <laughs> Then you have that little picture inside of it. I wish I still had the book. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere, but I wasn't for the dig for it. But I had to dig for this. But anyways, I hope y'all liked the video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my social media down below in the description box and click the bell to be notified when I upload. And if you guys want to see me, turn it, head over to my Instagram in the description box so you can see it and see how it plays and how beautiful it is in the turntable and all of that good stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.